This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. Hey there, I'm Zach Crenshaw with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. Reaction continues to pour in this weekend from across the state regarding that Pima County judge's decision to lift the injunction on a territorial law, putting a near total ban on abortion. Our Eleni Dow tracking the reactions as two Democratic candidates speak out about the ruling, while Republicans mark what they're calling a victory for conservatives. Both Democratic gubernatorial candidate Katie Hobbs and Attorney General candidate Chris Mays held a press conference Saturday morning condemning the court's decision to uphold Arizona's territorial law. The law says all abortions are illegal unless the mother's life is in danger. Both Katie Hobbs and Chris Mays say they are outraged that women no longer have the right to choose, saying the territorial law violates the rights of women across Arizona. Even worse. It will put the health of women at risk in a way we have not seen in my lifetime. Women and girls will die because of it. Mays and Hobbs vow to fight this law on their first day in office if they are elected. Women's rights are not a bargaining, bargaining chip. And so what my focus on day one is going to be is to repeal this 1901 law. And if we can't do that in the legislature, we're going to go to the ballot box to do it. The territorial law as it stands does not allow exceptions for rape or incest. In an interview with Fox News Saturday morning, Attorney General Mark Brnovich says his job is to enforce the law. He says, quote, me personally, I've said before that I think there should be exceptions for rape and incest, but that's what the law is. Following the ruling Friday, Governor Ducey's office sent a statement, though it doesn't specifically address the near total abortion ban. It says, quote, Governor Ducey was proud to sign the 15 week ban, which goes into effect today. Arizona remains one of the most pro-life states in the country. Ducey is referring to the 15-week abortion ban he signed into law in March, but with the Pima County judges ruling Friday, it's not clear which law will take precedent even among Republican leaders in state government. In Phoenix, Eleni Dow, ABC 15, Arizona. Now ABC 15 repeatedly reached out to Republican gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake and Attorney General candidate Abe Hamaday regarding their thoughts on the ruling. We did not hear back in time for that story, though they both have posted social media comments since that judge made the decision. We have all that online. Well, a man is fighting for his life in the hospital after he was shot near Cactus and the 17. It happened around 2 o'clock Saturday morning. No arrests have been made or suspect information released. Phoenix police are still trying to figure out what led up to that shooting. Well, one person was killed and another's in critical condition after a deadly car crash off the 10 and then on to the 17. This was an absolutely horrific scene with that car landing upside down after flying off the interstate. DPS tells us the car was merging from the 10 East to the 17 when it hit the wall and flipped off the interchange and onto the freeway below. Three people were in that car. Detectives are trying to figure out if alcohol was involved. Nearly 54 million people in the U.S. have had a hard time accessing fresh and healthy food, but one company believes it has the solution by upcycling shipping containers into vertical hydroponic farms, creating as much as two football fields worth of traditional agriculture. We don't use pesticides. We use nutrients, and I think the biggest thing that we have going for us is we use three to five gallons of water a day. One of the typical criticisms of vertical farming is the limitation on the variety of food that can actually be produced. But Farmbox Foods says they have been testing carrots, potatoes, and radishes. Tracking your most accurate forecast, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres. Temperatures will still be sizzling throughout the weekend, with temperatures starting off tomorrow morning in the upper 70s here in the valley, climbing to 97 at midday and topping out at 103 degrees, which is still above average for this time of year. And across northern Arizona on Sunday, that's the place to be, with highs in the mid-70s from Flagstaff to Heber and Sholo, 80s as you head toward northern portions of Gila County, including Payson, and look across western Arizona. Temperatures anywhere from 102 in Bullhead City to 107 
in Lake Havasu City. Now, as far as the moisture that we're anticipating across the valley and across Arizona, it's still going to be with us for several days, so it'll feel on the humid side at times and also still holding on to that chance of rain. So your 7-day forecast, we're turning those storm chances by Monday for now just a 10% with a high of 105 and then cooling down next week with rain chances still at 10%. In Flagstaff, notice the chance of rain goes up later next week with highs in the upper 60s by Thursday. This ABC 15 flash briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.